EA throws hammer at TV for me corrupting her child. So this took place about two months ago during my family's New Year's Eve party. About 30 people showed up, including my favorite cousin, we are both 14, and his aunt who lived in another province seven hours away. They show up at my house and me and my cousin, let's call him Jack, head down to my basement to play on my PS4. Jack doesn't have any video games at home and EA gives him limited access to their TV. So he was very excited to get to play on a PS4. I showed him the games that I had and he chose NHL 19. Now that isn't exactly a game that you can learn in five minutes, but I jumped into practice mode to show him the basic controls and stuff so we can play a game. After I taught him the controls, we started the game. I randomized the teams and we ended up getting New Jersey Devils versus Ottawa Senators. Now, both of those teams are a complete dumpster fire in real life, but New Jersey was higher rated in the game, so Jack decided to play as them. We started the game, and I was smoking him 6-0, and we were barely past the halfway point of the first periods. This is when EA comes downstairs to check on us. EA, uh, what are you playing? Me, NHL 19. Oh, okay, how do you like it, Jack? Best thing ever. Interesting, what's your team name? the New Jersey Devils. Now, I should mention that EA is a very religious person and she goes absolutely nuts when someone uses words like devil or anything else that she considers unholy. So at this point, with the word devils being shown on the scoreboard in the arena, all hell breaks loose. EA, what monster would create such a thing? She then grabs Jack, drags him upstairs while shouting a bunch of gibberish directed at either me or the game. I'm in kind of a state of shock when I hear EA stomping down the stairs and she runs up to me. How dare you expose my son to such levels of sin? You and your parents should be ashamed of this. Me. Um, I I'm, I'm not sure what you want me to do about this. Well, I'll do something about it then. She then runs into my dad's workshop and I hear her rummaging through some drawers. My dad and a few other relatives have now started to make their way downstairs to see what the commotion's about. But little did we know that the trouble was just starting. EA comes running out of the workshop and lobs a hammer. And by lobs, I mean absolutely puts her whole ability into this throw at the TV. The TV, as you would expect, shatters and the screen goes black. At this point, I'm furious as I just got on that TV as a Christmas present less than a week earlier. Me, what the flying fuck did you just do to my TV? I destroyed it for corrupting my son. Video games are the work of the devil. Me, I don't care who they're the work of. You owe my parents $1,400 for the TV. Now my dad comes in. EA, I swear to God, if it wasn't for the 25 people watching me, I would break your fragile fucking little neck. EA, I'm not paying for anything because I saved your child from corruption. You should be paying me. Me, the only thing that's corrupt here is your brain. Now, this is where it really takes off. I'm part black, and by part, I mean my dad is white and my mum is black. But this didn't stop my aunt from using the hard R against me. EA, shut your mouth, you little N-word. Everyone gasps. The fuck you say to me, you little shit? If I wanted to, I could smash your skull, you fucking whore. Because of the fact that she had seven children. At this point, some other relatives separate us and I head off to my room and didn't come out until everyone left. After this, my aunt refused to pay for the TV and we settled out of court to pay for the replacement. However, neighbors of EA later called CPS on her for making one of her kids sleep outside when it was minus 20 degrees. CPS stepped in and took her kids away and we are currently the foster parents of Jack and we are considering leaving legally adopting him soon. So, in a nutshell, don't be the aunt that throws a fucking hammer at a TV or calls her nephew the N-word. Um, I think that's pretty good life advice right there. You can't name your baby that. So, back in the late 90s, when Sears wasn't sad and dying, my mother was an assistant manager. Her boss was also pregnant and this generally wasn't an issue, until it was. Now, my parents spent a long time choosing baby names when I turned out to be a girl. They really wanted my name to be gender neutral to prevent future trouble finding jobs. Yes, that is the actual reason. But my middle name remained the same as when they thought I was a boy, Ryan. When they decided on my full name, my mum told her friends about it, and one of them ended up telling the manager. As my mother was on lunch break, this lady storms in, already red and furious. I heard you were naming your baby Ryan. My mother is of course stunned. She stays silent for a few moments before finally answering. That's her middle name, yes. Your baby is a girl, the woman exclaims, as though this is some sort of great revelation. My mother nods. Getting somehow redder, the woman snaps, Ryan is a boy's name. Actually, it's gender neutral. At this point, my mother's surprise is wearing off into a bit of righteous confusion. Is there a problem with that name? You can't name your baby that. The woman is practically shouting at this point, 
I'm naming my son that. My mother stares at her, trying to work out what kind of mental gymnastics it takes to decide your choice of baby name should give you the authority to veto someone else's baby name. So? Change your baby's middle name or I'm going to fire you, the woman says, having drawn a crowd with this whole scene to witness the utter insanity that was her outburst. People who could act as witnesses for my mother if she attempted such a thing. I don't think you can do that, my mother answers flatly. She couldn't even fire my mother on some other infraction because there was no other infraction. The staff was friendly with my mother and she had brought up sales in her area by a lot. The woman stops for a moment maybe realising that my mother was right on that point, and once again demands, change your baby's middle name, I chose Ryan first. Ah oh yes, calling dibs, surely my mother would have to respect a grown woman calling dibs on a very common name. Ryan is my maiden name, my mum answers flatly. At this, the woman stops, still furious, sputters for a moment, and finally stomps off. My middle name is Ryan, my mother's boss named her son Dylan instead. <laughs> Unbelievable. She actually changed the name of her own son because this person's mum wanted to call her daughter Ryan. Does this woman think that no other person in the world is called Dylan? I, I don't get it. 